All I need in life is just someone to bring me Starbucks and pizza and I would be happy. Not that hard. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I used the new Anastasia Self Made Palette. I've been playing with it a lot the past week since I've gotten it. And I know I've shown a lot of looks on Snapchat, but I wanted to do a tutorial on it. And it was hard to pick which look I wanted to do because I've, like I said, been using it so much. But I went with this plum smoky eye and then I used like a little bit of a champagne color in the middle. I really hope you guys like it. I think it's really smoky and sexy and perfect for like nighttime, especially as winter comes I start to use a little bit more of cool tones. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. So first I'm going to prime my eyes with Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. I actually had to buy a new one because I hit pan and ran out of my other one. I go through these a few times a year and it's my favorite eye primer. So first I'm going to take the eyeshadow Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to apply this in my crease as my transition color. Just back and forth it's going to help all of the darker shades since this is a really dark smoky eye. It's going to help everything fade and look more airbrushed as you go up into the crease. Now I'm going into the new Anastasia self-made eyeshadow palette. I am obsessed with this palette. I have not been able to put it down. So I'm going to be going in with the color Hot Chocolate. It's a really creamy matte chocolate brown. And I'm taking a denser crease brush. This is from Morphe. I'll link all of the brushes and everything I use down below. But I'm just going right in the crease back and forth. I'm going to start on the outer corner of the eye, bringing the product inwards, and then once I blend that product out, I'm going to add more product from the inner corner and go back towards the outer part of the crease, if that makes sense. So I'm starting from both corners of the eye, and this is just going to build up a lot of depth, a lot of dimension, making it really smoky and really intense on the entire crease from inner corner to outer corner. So now I'm going in with Metallic Plum. This is going to be the lid color. And it's just a plum with a little bit of a brown undertone in it. And I'm just applying this all over the lid, all the way up into the crease. I always prefer synthetic lid brushes. I feel like they pick up more product and it doesn't get as soaked into the brush. So this is a synthetic lid brush and it's from Morphe's Gunmetal line. And then I'm gonna go back with a little bit more of hot chocolate just to kind of fuse the lid color and the crease color together. And it just helps everything look a little bit more effortless. So now I'm gonna take the color Pink Champagne and put it right in the center of that eye. This just adds a whole nother dimension to the look and it makes the center of your lid pop. It makes the plum color look a lot more foiled and more dimensional and I love, it just reminds me of holidays and I love the way that it looks. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara and then we'll move on to the face and then come back to the eyes. So I've already primed my face with NYX Angel Veil, one of my favorite primers. And then for foundation, I'm going to use the Kojin Do Aqua Foundation. Okay, I mentioned this in a recent tutorial and it was the first time I had used it. I have been using it every day since. Like I have not used any other foundation. I am completely in love. It is my new favorite foundation. I had heard it was for dry skin, but I have more oily skin. But let me tell you, this is perfect for oily skin. It does not make me oily. It looks flawless. It's also a high definition foundation, so it looks great in photography. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm gonna speed through this because it's pretty much the same as I always do. And now I'm going to highlight and conceal. I'm gonna be going underneath the eyes in a triangle, on the bridge of the nose, center of the forehead, just on the high points of my face. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is my favorite concealer ever. I know I pretty much always use this concealer, but it's just such great coverage, but it looks so light on the skin and I love this color. I use the color custard and it just matches my skin tone perfectly. It's just a little bit lighter than my skin tone so it just highlights that area but it's not too bright. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want a white under eye. I just want it to be a little bit lighter than the rest of my face so it kind of creates an instant eye lift and highlights 
other parts of the face that I want to stand out. Then I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and put it on my beauty blender just to bake my face and let that set for a little bit. It's just gonna make sure your concealer doesn't budge and it makes everything look even more airbrushed and even more flawless. So while that sets, I'm gonna move on to lashes. I'm gonna be using the Coco Goddess Lashes. These lashes are so dramatic and so fun. They're one of my favorite lashes ever. If you've ever used the House of Lashes Iconic, they're very similar, but a lot cheaper in price. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, I definitely recommend these. So now for some contouring, I'm going to my tried and true Anastasia contour kit. I'm gonna use my NARS Eda brush and just contour the hollows of my cheeks and then also the sides of my nose. I love this brush for that. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna switch to my big tulip brush from Morphe and I'm just going to buff everything out and also contour my temples. And I love using this two-step method with two different brushes because it just makes everything look a little bit natural. Sometimes the Eda brush can make everything look a little bit harsh because you get a really defined line. Then I'm gonna be taking NARS Luster Blush and I'm going to be applying this right above that contour. This is a really pretty apricot shade. So to finish the eyes, I'm gonna be taking a black liner and applying it in the waterline. This is the YSL Black Eyeliner Coal. I got this in a little Sephora perk a while ago and oh my gosh, it is so black. It's even blacker than the Buxom one that I usually use. So so I'm gonna go back to that hot chocolate color and use a pencil brush and start buffing this on the lower lash line. I really wanna smoke out the lower lash line and bring it down a little bit farther than I usually do. So I'm gonna take hot chocolate back and forth, really smudging that lower lash line downwards. And then I'm gonna go back to my crease brush and add a little bit of that fawn shade from Anastasia and bring it even lower. I want it really grungy and really dramatic. I really want my inner corners to pop, so I'm gonna go to MAC Nylon, my favorite inner corner highlight, and pack that on the inner corners. So now I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones and I'm taking MAC Oh Darling. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I should have bought a backup and I didn't, but this came out as part of their holiday collection. I'm pretty sure it's already sold out, but it is stunning. It is a light gold highlight and it is so, so beautiful. I've been using this also every day since I got it. And I'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, really packing it on because you guys know I love to highlight. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm just applying a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. So now for the lip color, I'm gonna be taking Spice Lip Liner from MAC and I'm going to be defining my lips, just outlining and kind of filling them in a little bit. And then for the lip color, I'm gonna be mixing two liquid lipsticks from Anastasia. I swear you guys, this is not a sponsored video. I didn't realize I was using so much of her products until I'm watching it right now. But I'm gonna be mixing her liquid lipsticks in the color Sepia and Pure Hollywood. I'm gonna apply Sepia all over my lips first, and then I'm going to take Pure Hollywood and dab it right on top and then blend it with my finger. You could also mix the colors on a palette or a paper plate and then apply it with a lip brush, but I wanted to do it this way because I wanted it to look a little bit more like an ombre plus I was really lazy and I really like the applicators of these Anastasia's liquid lipsticks are some of my favorite brands ever I just love the way they last and apply and I wanted this to be a grungy lip but I wanted it a little bit more pink than sepia so that's why I'm adding pure Hollywood right on top so here is the completed look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments what you think, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.